Facebook again. I am. I, I, I as ready. You is red eye. I is ready. And you know, we need to get this bottle open. Let's see here. I got it. Come on. Bear with us just a second, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey y'all, who is on there joining us tonight? There we go. Now let's see if everything is working. All right. Welcome everybody to Tales from Lounge. I'm Ron. I'm Rhonda. And this is our special guest, Joseph, who I hate. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do, of course. Thanks for having me on. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe I actually let you on the show. Well, you hated me so much that you had to bring me into something that you enjoyed, just so I could ruin it. That's yeah, right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. And actually, what the truth is, <laughs> yeah, is Rhonda invited you. Oh well, that's fair enough. Yeah, okay. hey, I hey, get hey. that. I get that. Hey. She was the one that definitely seemed more interested and less jealous. So exactly. See, yes, I'm not yes, jealous because yes. I have hair. <laughs> yes. I have. But we hair. will tell that story here shortly. Yeah, we will tell that story here shortly. Uh, Joseph, are you not joining us in this downmore? Wait, is this your cup? This is your glass. glass. Oh, okay. Well, hey, we have the same one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we are, got the same one. We are so it's so it's like, I, I thought tonight. I was participating. <laughs> okay. Are you taking my glass okay. too? Okay. I was like, wait a minute. It's just, it's For those of you who know, that's one of my <laughs> one, one of my favorites right there. It's okay, not overly those, expensive. I've got mine. No, no. Oh. I, I, would you oh. like me to go ahead and uncover this? <laughs> I mean, I don't think you want the air to continue to get to it, do you? I, well, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to leave it open. Off tonight anyway, uh, you so, know, I mean. I'm, I'm happy to leave it <laughs> you know, open. You, you know guys, how I am. We are drinking, what are we drinking? Dalmore? 12. 12. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's not a, it's about a $60, $65 bottle of scotch, and, you know. That's not a, that's not a bad bottle. No, no. It's, it, it, you know, it's a little pricey for me to, for an everyday drink. Because I drink so much, right? You know, so, yeah, you know, so you know, if I wasn't such a lush, you know, I could <laughs> buy a bottle and it would last me more than a couple of days. Yeah, but I'll yeah. tell you this much: whenever I look at a scotch, just about everything that I'm interested in to try at least at face value winds yep. up being 85 plus. So 65 dollars, I'm gonna have oh, yeah. to. Uh, yes. I'm gonna have to give it a try at some cutter? point. Oh, you don't have a cutter? I oh, do. You want to borrow my purple cutter? cutter? I want to oh, borrow. Oh, you, you want to be cut? Got it. Well, hurry up, sneaking on. Cheers. Yeah, look at him. He's jumping the gun. <laughs> well, that's okay. He, I mean, you know. Because don't. he's a lush, too, I guess. Yeah, well, I hell, it. that's all of us. So, anyway, all right. Cheers, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. And we're going to have a good night tonight. We're we are definitely going to have a good night tonight. And we're going to get into the usual stuff. We're going to uh, do the quick intro, come back after 10 seconds, and then Rhonda and Joseph are going to talk for a minute while I do technical shit and... Then we're going to harass the shit out of each other for a while. That's what we're going to do for a whole straight hour, guys. So, see you in a sec. I'm so and glad we're back. that you are able to join us tonight. You know, thank you for having me. Yes. It might have been a rocky uh, attempt for me to get here. Uh, but yes. I, I made but you, it, but I you made, made it. it you know, you made, made it. it. Let me yeah. tell you something. Sometimes things happen for a reason. And so you have to just look at it that way. That that happened for a specific reason. Reason we will not ever know. Mm-hmm. But it happened. It Very was true. Meant, it was Very probably true. meant for you not to drive home. I guess not. I guess not. That's okay. Mm-hmm. I made it here. You, that's I get right. to hang out with you guys. That's right. You get to hang out with us. Have a with wonderful all this cigar. beautiful, <laughs> natural, curly hair. All natural. <laughs> that Ron all is that. so jealous of. Well, it's not just him. I get, you know, you get anytime I'm in the lounge, I get asked by someone think probably think once a week. Is that your, your, yours. that's yours. Right? Is that yours? <laughs> No, it's a wig. It's it's mine. I understand, you know, it might be a wig. I just didn't come from the culture where I would have grown my hair out and known that I could cut it off and make it into a wig and wear it whenever I want. Right. I didn't know that until I was probably in my early teens seeing it on Jerry Springer or something oh, yeah. like that. And then, uh, rest in peace, you know, sorry, yes. Jerry. Um, 
you know, my grandmother probably is glad that uh, Jerry's finally joined her up there and uh, can entertain her. She loved, loved Jerry. Love Jerry. Jerry's but, yeah, funny. I, I love Jerry's bring a show. I used to watch that shit all the time. I, I, it's, just, just for the last. It's set like, in a hard, time, hard place for me because... I could enjoy watching it, but I always had to watch it because that's what my mom and my grandmother loved to watch. <laughs> so it was either Steve Wilkos, Jerry Springer, uh-huh. maybe it was uh, what was his name, uh, Maury. We occasionally Maury, get yeah, Maury, Maury Povich, <laughs> or uh, Montel Williams. Occasionally yep. oh, yeah. Montel yes, Williams. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. You can't yes. forget Montel, but yes. you know, like I didn't know that you could even do fake hair like that for you know a non cancer purpose you know I was, yeah. was kind of sheltered growing up I didn't yeah. understand a whole lot of things culturally so mm-hmm. I had no clues so now people ask me is that real like yeah, I get it's a thing, thing but, but yes, yes it is real. Yeah, yes it it's is real if, yes, it, if is. it wasn't so then I let's see with it so let's start <laughs> off with that story oh okay yes so let's do it. how long have you worked here at uh, industrial uh almost three months now I've been almost here three since, months since yeah. February. And so you probably had only been working a couple of days when I met you it was like my my second uh, night here. Before okay. I was officially hired, it was my second night here. Yeah. And yeah. I was accosted by this lovel, lovely gentleman over here. So uh, you know, I introduced my I introduced myself to him. That's yes. And I said, yes. I want to get this straight. Uh, right off the bat, I hate your guts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. And he what? looked at me. He looked at me, and says, "It's the hair, isn't it?" <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, oh. I get it. Look, I grew up around bald men. My my dad, my stepdad, <laughs> when I, you know, he's been in my life for the last 20 years. He's been bald the entire time, and uh, I'm just, I guess, I'm used to uh, what's going to come from that. Right. Because as a bald man, he seems to attract bald men in public, which means I'm exposed to that many yeah. more bald. Men. Right. Okay. And you know, I've got plenty of bald friends. Uh, just, I don't know. I just expect it at this point. Exactly. exactly. I understand well, that I'm blessed, so some people are going to be jealous. And, and that's okay. And Ron is definitely one of those people that is jealous. <laughs> yes. Well, and I'll tell right. you why. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Tell us okay. why. But first of all, first before you tell us why, let me give a shout out to LaVonda Jones. Hey, Mama. Hi, Brian. And Charles T. is on. And Charles. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Thank you guys Charles, for joining. Charles, thanks for joining us. LaVonda, welcome, welcome. And, uh, so go ahead with the story. So a billion years ago, when I was much younger, I had hair down to here, uh-huh. full, thick, I mean, long hair, and it went away. <laughs> and I have missed it. Yeah. It went yeah. away. So yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. And I know that you are very jealous. <laughs> yes. Of- only, only comically. Yeah. I'm very jealous. No. Well, I'm no. very no. jealous no. of it. So, <laughs> so. Because it's because it's a funny gag, you know. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair yeah, enough. yeah, but you know. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody wishes that they had Joseph's hair. So that's true. We are gonna get me a wig. We are gonna solve that problem for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Very, very soon. Okay. Very soon. We're gonna solve that problem for okay. you. Okay. But and another gag, especially with the hair like his, I joke that. If that's the only way I could wear it, I'd still take it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, mean, so, 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 mm-hmm. since you want to be a little mini Joseph, mm-hmm. I have brought you some hair. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> so, uh, yes. yes. I have brought you some Perfect. hair. So, this oh is the pack. God. And then you're going to go ahead and put this on oh your head. God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I live for. Come here. This is Come what here. I live for. Okay. Got it. There Got you go. It. There Looking you go. Good. Looking this is, good. I have been wanting to get, this is one of the reasons why <laughs> I needed Joseph on this show. He, it was so absolutely she could harass me about not yes. having it here? Yes. Exactly. Oh my God. I feel so love. So, so you get to share the love with Joseph. Oh, oh. Yeah. You, you, yep. you are share his twin love. tonight. Yes. So we're just going to go ahead on and Share this love. Let's get, oh, groo- let's get groovy tonight. Let's get groovy, let's get groovy tonight. tonight. Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, oh, oh. We, we've got some uh, technical adjustments. Oh, man. I forgot to turn those on. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh, man, that looks much better. All right. That looks good. Yeah. Oh, really, man. You're backlit. Oh. 
Oh, it looks glorious. Oh, man, I love this. i got to get in on this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So you have hair tonight. I Beautiful. have hair tonight. <laughs> now you don't have to be jealous. And it's bigger than yours. Yeah. It is bigger. <laughs> it is. It is. So we got you with some hair tonight. So many comments about hearing that from a white guy. Yeah. Yeah. So and then yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Joseph, yeah, I'm not and, and Joseph that lot. what is up with this Lacroix? So the gentleman who just got up to walk away and leave. So I was <laughs> I was working in a lounge here, and he had his little cooler full of Lacroix, and he's he's got his scotch, he's got his cigar, yeah, right? And, he, and he's got his Lacroix that was smacked with a raspberry from six thousand miles here, away, here. and Sam. Sam. Hey. Come here, Sam. So, the story behind the LaCroix uh -huh. is that... Um, <laughs> is that Come on, Sam. Get in here. This is, a, up, guys? This is our friend, Sam. <laughs> What's up, Sam? So, Sam uh, got some flack from me for having a LaCroix here in the lounge. Hey, at least was it, it wasn't white oh, About a week ago. Oh, it wasn't a, li a white claw, so that's, yeah. that's better yeah. redemption yeah. points. <laughs> this is, exactly. Yeah. This is a little more... Um, Premium seltzer. It's premium. It's a little more classy. It's not, you know, what White Claw has been known for. Um, it's in uh, French. Exactly. Yeah, yes, exactly. It's French, so it's slightly classier. Um, so, yeah, so it was a gift from this gentleman. His yeah. little gags. He wanted to call me out on the show. So, so uh, now I'm getting called so, called out. Yes. And yeah. so, and, and we'll have to know, arrange to have you on the show here before too much longer, man, too. I love the hair. I got to say. Oh, yeah, you know, he <laughs> was just, you know, he... he is so jealous of Joseph's hair, so you know I had to bring him some yes, hair. Yes. I was gonna say, what well, was your inspiration? But I think it's pretty clear. It, it, oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Joseph. The like, minute he met him, he's like, I hate you. <laughs> like, Who tells that to somebody when they first meet him? My like, first words out of your mouth, I hate you. And he's like, Well, let me let me guess, the hair. Yep. The hair. Yep. So you know, I, mean, I figured, hey, since he hated him, why don't why don't he be like him? <laughs> so I brought him some hair. Now he gets to join me. Hey, now he gets to join me. You know, the funny thing is, we shook hands, and then now every time we see each other, we're hugging each other's necks. And, That's very and, true. Uh, That's very mean, true. And we love each other. I mean, it's... You know, you're one of my favorite people to see up here. Just because I know that not only, not only is it going to be an easy night, but it's going to be a night where if uh, anything was to happen that could potentially make it a bad night, all I got to do is turn to Ron. And I'll have a smile on my face for the rest of the night. Right. That's it. That's just it. ask me, that's how it. are you doing today? And I'll say, it's another beautiful day in paradise. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And everything's much better. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it. That's, that's it. it, that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right, Sam, I know you got to go, but you later, thank you for making yeah. that pop-up appearance. Thank you okay. very much. Well, let's talk about what we're smoking here. We, I pulled out something special tonight. We are Absolutely smoking wonderful. principal. Isn't it great? It's so good. I'm surprised so you've good. never had one of these. Lights. Well, you know what? These yeah. come in limited numbers anytime they're yeah. available, and I haven't been aware of principal long enough to know yeah, that these exactly, were a thing. Yeah, exactly. Because these, exactly. the last release of these were well before I started here, exactly. so that I had no idea that these mm -hmm. existed. Mm -hmm. I actually was digging around, doing some research on principal's website yeah. to learn more about the Aviator series, learn more about yeah. the time to burn, like really try to get more data on the blends yes. and, and just do some research into my craft and found these and I go, this is something I haven't seen before. I haven't asked any questions because I knew that they were so limited that yeah. no one around here is walking into the humidor and saying, hey, do you have any more night flies? Exactly. You know, no one talks about it, so there, there's a good reason. Because there's, exactly. there's, there's a good reason. So I think well, you know, and, I, and, I'll give example, and I'll give you an example and I'll give you an okay. example of where these things are. Okay, please do. They... They generally, at most, are five percent of their entire production. And one time we got some uh, uh, Cochon Blanc night flights in, mm -hmm. and we got the entire production. Really? Yes. Yes. Six boxes. That was it. Oh goodness. And we were oh, fighting goodness. over. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was there was a there was a there was a hard limit uh, on those. I think I think the deal was you could buy two, and if you bought something else, you could get an extra one. Oh wow! But I mean, okay, it was yeah. you know because everybody wanted them and they yeah. they wanted to they make just, sure the the love got spread around. Yeah, the, just the first ones in that saw them battle. So I've got I've got a question for you too. What do you think about 
limited releases in the cigar industry because I've I've seen some different perspectives on it in it the cigar industry in the the whiskey the booze you know it scotch depends, bourbon it depends and in, on in the pipe producer tobacco. okay it, dep- it depends yeah on the it producer. really does it really I mean, depends if the, on if the it's, producer if if it's, what, what about them well if, if it's actually a limited edition they're using some extra rare tobacco and, mm. or extra aging or something like that that's awesome. If it's, hey, we're going to do a limited edition, but it's really just going to be kind of our regular stuff, and we're going to put in a little different wrapper, and we're going to limit it to 5,000 boxes. I mean, you know, that's really not limited edition. That's just a sales tactic. So it depends on the intent and the, 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 the thought behind it. And with boutique cigars, when you get a limited edition, you're getting limited. So you actually want value. So what you're saying is you want a value out of it being a limited edition, not just a fancy fancy marketing tactic. You don't just want someone to slap a new logo on something right. and exactly. say this is right. new right. for this, this year. Yeah, exactly. You, right. you want you actually want the value behind exactly. something that's one hundred percent. Excuse me. That's supposed to be limited. Exactly. It needs a reason to be limited, not just right. that it says. Right. Limited. And then you have a lot of um, the the cigar owners that will mm-hmm. only release certain amount of boxes to certain cigar places, uh, cigar lounges. Right, right. And, like and, what, and what I like about um, ICC is that they get a lot of limited edition stuff. Yes, yes. And they open it up to the members before yes. they open it up to, like, the, the public. Mm-hmm. Um, but when they tell you it's limited edition, it's limited edition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's 100% and it's kinda limited. Like, and you it's better like get it. Yeah, you better get it if yeah. you can get it. The, yeah. uh, the Halloween release for Tetrawahe. Yes. yes. I mean, you know. Absolutely. Uh, we got lucky. <laughs> I guess it was maybe only their second year mm-hmm. in business, and they got picked to be one of the uh, 666 boxes uh, got came here, mm-hmm. and I wound up getting one of the uh, dress boxes for the... Uh, it was Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, nice. So that's been yeah. three, four years ago. Okay. So when you get that stuff, you just want to hang on to it and mm-hmm. hold on to it. Just make, mm-hmm. Maybe smoke one or two out of it, but put right. the rest up because mine you never know when aging. you never know when it's going to come mine, back or when they're going to release still something in the aging else. Mine humidor in the uh, wrapper, and in fact, the wrapper was actually opened a little bit just so that uh, uh, Pete could sign it when he came in okay. to the shop. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Yeah. So, if people keep telling me I can probably... It's limited. Right. Grab it if you can grab it. Right. No, but that makes a lot of sense, and I see that that's where the trend is going, is Mm -hmm. that people want actual value. They want... Right. It needs to be a rare tobacco. It needs to be something you can't get your hands on. Well, you know... It needs to be truly, like, selected. Like, it has to be... You have to be given a value out of it. And I'll give you an example. You know, I I posted the Cigar of the Day uh, Mm -hmm. today. And what I posted was actually an old photo okay. when we went to Cuba, but it was an actual Cohiba. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Cuban Cohiba. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, I, I talked a little bit about it, but I also mentioned that because of the increase in prices from Cuban cigars, I mean, they went 300% up, now they're going up another 300%. Yeah, yeah. ridiculous. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the taste isn't the, uh, of that kind of value. Right, right. You right, know? right, right. Period. You know, is it worth paying that it's, money for it? Was, a, it was a worth twenty month? bucks. It was right. not worth a yeah. hundred bucks. Yeah. You know? Okay. Let me give a few shout outs. Hey, Wesley. And Jesse. Jesse. He said he's gonna. Uh, he might have to pull out his knife flight. Please do join us. Dude, absolutely. And uh, Wesley is smoking uh, Crux Epicure, another good one. Go ahead, Wesley. You know I'm a bull and yeah, bears kind of girl. Oh, yeah, I, saw Sam, uh, I saw Sam yesterday. Oh, did you? Yep, yep, from nice. Crux. So. Yeah, so you know I'm a, I'm a Crux kind of girl. I love mm-hmm. me some Crux. Mm-hmm. My favorite is the bull and bear and always mm-hmm. will be. Now, now that you say that, he, he gave me a, a Duke Connoisseur number four that I enjoyed. Oh, yeah, yeah those are good. Yeah, Ooh. oh, yeah. I, I've, I've had the Bull and Bear, I've had that Epicure Ooh. Maduro, and I still need to try the Epicure. It's just not in my normal range, so I haven't. So you haven't, warmed up to you, it haven't yet. you haven't wanted to t- taste that the, one yet. Well, right? there's a lot of other things in the humidor that are more like on on brand for my palate, but just off enough that it's a new experience. Yeah. That the Epicure goes so far from that. Yeah. Like if this was in the in the humidor, I'd grab it. 
Absolutely, 100%. Because this fits like my medium Let me tell you medium plus profile. Like I'm, all, I'm right there a, with you. Anytime a principal Both. is in a humidor, people are gonna <laughs> grab it. Right. Oh yeah. Especially if, especially a knife light. Yes. Like Jesse's Thank gonna you get very rid much, of Victoria. Yeah. Victoria. Especially that. It, all it, said, uh, yeah. Nice hair. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Nice, uh, yeah. Wonderful nice hair. Bro. Nice Wonderful hair, bro. right? Nice hair. I finally am getting beat on the wow factor. <laughs> <laughs> and it hey, is wow. Look, yes, look, it is. Yes, it is. He was just so jealous of your hair. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I had to just bring it. We had to I, fix it. Yeah, we had to was, give him uh, you know, I, I had to, you know, There's I, a reason I, I, why you and I are friends. That's, yeah, right? <laughs> you, I, you read, you, you read me so well, and you know, and I mean, I had to be real you're reserved. My, you're, 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 you're my work wife. That's yeah. right. I had to be real reserved around you for the last week or so because I couldn't say anything about the wig. Oh, you knew this. I knew the he whole knew time. He knew the whole time. He knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. <laughs> He knew. Yeah, yes, yep. he did. I, just, I, I, I have been fun. planning this could, for a couple weeks oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah. She's been devious. Yes, I've been planning this for a couple weeks. I have had that in my in I'm gonna, closet, I, you know what? on my shelf, I'm gonna, on all my <laughs> other little things. <laughs> I'm going to have to wear this next time I wear something sexy. Oh, Lord <laughs> Jesus. And moving oh, on to our next segment. Uh, yes. <laughs> on to the next. Oh, Lord. You Get can't this. take his ass any... We can't even bring him here. No damn where. Do we need Always to... Always up. Can we readjust the, the the shot and turn the frame a little bit? We can... He's got his hair. He can't go do this thing. He's good. He's good. She's trying to... She's trying to... He's trying to get more of my hair in the frame. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. Wow. Such a good scar. Mm -hmm. Also, that this is... Dalmore. I've never had the Dalmore before. Oh, you have Wesley. not? Never had it before. Wesley. Oh, no. <laughs> Wesley's at... Uh, okay, what's nice. up, Wesley? Uh... Mind me to grab a night flight next time I'm in there, if they're here. Mm. Yeah, the yeah. problem is they yeah. come in and, and they they're fly gone. off the shelves. And they're gone. They're gone. Like you gotta uh, just you gotta get it when you come, can get it. Come get some some. We've got kosher envelons. Get the petite kosher envelon. We don't have night flights. Gone. Yeah. But it, but the deal is, watch the Saturday at the shop show. Yes. Because yes. they notoriously will announce. Yeah. Especially the night flights are available oh, yeah. on that show, and as soon as they do. Jump online or call and, in yeah. and say, Gret, hold on for, yes. you know. You, for, I'm telling you, you better get it when you can get it. If you don't yeah. get it, you you just asked out. Yep. Just asked but out. So if you have a nice light in your, in, your, in your humidor. Skippy's watching. Hey, Skippy. Skippy. So here's, but here's another thing I do want to stress that what? I think a lot of people don't think enough about with limited edition tobacco in general. Don't be upset when you miss out on it. Don't no. don't don't get so upset at yourself. Don't beat yourself up when you miss out on a release, because at the end of the day, it's tobacco. At the end of the day, someone else is going to come out with another limited or, release. Or you're going to you're liable to have somebody yeah. just uh, share one with you. Right. You're going to have someone that wants to sit around and have yeah. a good drink and have a good. Ron cigar always shares his, his cigars with me. <laughs> I share them with everybody. I yeah. know. Hell, I was here the other day. And I know you share out. with everybody. Uh, two petite cochon belongs to people. One was a new guy, and uh, the other was to uh, uh, Josh. So you know, it's just kind of what we do, you know. And I'm That's sure he'll, tell, you know, he'll find something. Go, hey Ron, you got to try this, and he'll give me one, you know. Yeah. That's what we do. So Joseph. Yes. Tell me, let's talk about how you got started smoking cigars. Wow. Okay. Like, what was like, what in your mind said, I want to smoke a cigar. I want to try that. Convenience store, black and mild. Not at all. Not at all. Thank Not you, all. Jesus. No, Thank you. It was, I think it's the classical story of admiration. Okay. There, okay. I used to, back in the day, it was probably around 2014, 2015, so almost, almost a, a decade ago. I uh, worked at an airsoft store just down the road in Plano, uh -huh. and working at this airsoft store, we'd go to a local uh, field up in Denton called D14 Airsoft, Okay. Yep. and yep. up there we'd okay. go and play different events, and there was one older gentleman that would come and play, he was probably in his late 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. and most of us only knew him by his call sign or his nickname, Pope. Okay. Pope. He just went by Pope. Yep. Pope and okay. he had been around in the community for so long that mm -hmm. he 
would always spearhead and lead all of the events that they do. So if, if we did any form of military simulation event or just right. any event, he would be a commanding officer. Okay. And you'd always see Pope standing at the command tent with a cigar, just an unbanded, just crinkled, chewed just up cigar, cigar, just pouring smoke out of his mouth. Well, I noticed like some of the old timers, don't, mm-hmm. don't get offended, right. y'all. They chew, they nod on the yes. end of the, the yes. damn cigar. Right. I'm like, okay, so go ahead. Well, it's, it's, it's I kind of like the golfer's mindset. If you're yeah. outside, you're in the sun, you're wearing uh-huh. a bunch of heavy gear, you're sweating your yeah. butt off, yeah. you're not worried about taking the cigar out of your mouth and keeping it in perfect condition. You know, you're smoking the equivalent of a yard guard. You're not smoking, you know, a night flight. You know, you're not yeah. smoking an aviator. Yeah, you're not, yeah, because you know you're going to just, you're going to exactly, nod on it. You know, exactly. you're not going to smoke your good stuff. You're like, yes. yeah, 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 I get yeah, it. That's right, Wesley. Mm-hmm. You're smoking a $5, you know, big yeah. bundle cigar that, at, you that know, you $5, don't care if you you're throw not away. worried about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's, but that's really thinking back, that's the first image that I had of seeing someone in person that uh-huh. I personally knew smoking a cigar. And then as I became of age, still playing airsoft, doing these events, right. working in the industry, mm-hmm. that was a big victory thing for us. Don't work too hard, Victoria. Thing. That was how we wrapped up our weekends when we played Love you, airsoft. bestie. <laughs> that was how we wrapped up our weekends, is we'd all get together, get we'd have a drink, and we'd smoke a cigar. And it, that was very much right. pure oh. celebratory. And it's Vicky. I'm, I'm seeing Victoria <laughs> Hall, and I'm thinking, Victoria Hall, it's Vicky. Duh! Well, I've never known her as Victoria, but that's what her call sign is on the uh, chat. Yes. So. Come on, Rob. Is she on YouTube? Make the fro look good. On YouTube. YouTube. Okay, yeah, yeah. She's not a Facebook kind of girl, so, you know. We give she him never, a fro and he turns yeah. into a blonde. I, I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, you <laughs> interrupted my brain. Right. Come the, on, br- Rob, the hair come on. is messing with your damn brain. It's, I need you to, it's come on. To you. It's getting to you. Come on, work with me. Get on the same page, <laughs> baby. Get on the same page. I see how you are, man. I see yes. how you are. Get on the same page. Anyway. So you've been, you've been smoking since 2000 when? So this was, well, so all of this, the story started around 2014. So I okay. probably started smoking regularly around 2017, 2018. Okay. okay. Um, I, but it was never something that I did consistently. Okay. I didn't have a humidor at home. I had no idea how to treat cigars really. Right. I knew that you clipped a, you ripped a little bit off the end. You lit, <laughs> right. it, you lit it and you sucked it into your mouth. And that that's it, that's it. It, it wasn't. You know, like you see these NFL players or these college football players uh-huh. celebrating at the end of a, a championship game, uh-huh. yeah. and they're just chewing on cigars, ripping the butts yeah. off, or smoking them backwards. Yeah. Like it was that kind of a celebratory. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having it's fun anyway. Do, right. And you know, I applaud that kind of a mindset, especially back where I was at at the time. Um, so fast forward years and years later, and I actually got back into smoking cigars when I met my fiance. And finally was introduced to her father. Okay. So Allie, my fiance, sitting right over here, yes. smoking on come her over cigar. Here, come, so over here. come on, Allie. Come, over come on second. over here, Allie. Yes, get get, get on over so, here, girl. Yeah. Hey, and I love the fact that you smoke with him. Yes. Like I think yeah. I think it's so cool that <laughs> you can enjoy this with him and you guys can enjoy this together. Yeah. I think that's so cool. So So what are you smoking Welcome tonight? to the girls' club. Thank you. Of course one. Yes, she has from one of my favorite brands. It's a uh, Deliverance Porcelain from Black Label Trading Company. Okay. okay. Beautiful, cool, cool, cool. beautiful Connecticut that she's fallen in love with. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. And we but actually had a chance to start expanding to... your palate, right? Well, hold on. This is where I'm going. <laughs> this is where I'm going. Uh-huh. So we actually had a chance to talk for Cinco de Mayo. Yes. And um, I know that she liked the sweet stuff at first, and then she's she started to expand her palate. So this is where she is right now with the Connecticut's. So she's done with the sweets. Not to say that, you know, she won't go back, but every now and then. Right, right. So, you know, she might like a little, you know, I mean, because sometimes when you want a dessert, but you don't want a dessert, you go get a, you go yes. get a cigar. So, yes. Isn't it really? So, so yeah. here's, when it comes to your argument about her expanding her palate, that Patoro XO that you gifted me, yep. she loved. She tried some of it and she loved. So she's expanding oh her palate. God. See? But the problem is I'm expanding her palate with expensive stuff. Well, she tried the XO and loved it. Yeah. I gave her a, a an Adabe Hachizos whenever uh, we were in here the other you're, night. You're trying, she to loved ruin her. Her. Yeah. you're trying to ruin well, her. Yeah. Look, if she's only going to smoke every now and again, I'm going to let her smoke good stuff. Well, now, yeah, I was up here one Sunday. You know, that's one of the funny stories. Hold on. Let me tell my story. How I got ruined. All right. We got a stop sign. I was up here one Sunday, 
as I usually used to be on every Sunday. And Dave Franks handed me a damn Atabay. Mm. And he said to me, when he handed that stick to me, he said, I'm going to ruin you. Yep. At least he called it from the beginning. Oh, he knew it. <laughs> oh, he knew it. Funny, yeah. What's funny he knew is he did the same to thing myself, to me. And I thought to myself, you're going to ruin me? Shit, don't nobody ruin me. <laughs> she did. I smoked that damn out of age. Girl. And now I was changed. Yeah. Now. Yep. Do I have some in my humidor at home? Yes. Do I have some in my locker? Yes. Do I carry one with me? Yes. But let me tell you something. Them things are expensive too. So this is like a treat. So I treat myself. Yep. And when I treat myself, I always keep them. <laughs> but you know, I, like I, did. I always keep them. I like that. Absolutely. For like no. a special treat. Absolutely. <laughs> when, when, uh, when they first started doing Saturday at the shop, mm. I was helping out and everything. And I would always come in and ask Dave, what am I smoking today? What am I smoking today? And he'd recommend something. And he did the same thing. He says, I'm going to ruin you today, Ron. And he handed me an Atabay. And I said, son of a bitch. <laughs> you got yeah. me. Yeah. You got me. Yep. And I but used you know to what? I used it to shows you where too. the bar is. Yes. yes. And, and you know, it's kind of like you know, drinking a really fine bottle of uh, scotch. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you know that the, the Dalmore 17 is just phenomenal, but it's, you know, 150 bucks a bottle. And, you know, you don't do that very often. Yep. But, you know, you know that uh, that's... The, the Atabay is the same way. Yes. That's not something you spoke every day. But right. No. When you want to give yourself a little treat, you know, By you, all means, just you don't do it. It's the the Atabays are wonderful. The the Byrons are wonderful. I love the, I love the Let Byrons. me tell you what. They're, let me tell you what I was what I was stuck on for the longest is the Bandoleros. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the band- I, which all, one? I, all, the, of the, all of them. All of them. I just love Nothing that specific? entire line. No. Yeah. Okay. You can just okay. give me a Bandolero. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna love it like I love it like I okay. love the first one. Okay. I'm gonna love it on that damn stick. Like they never been loved on before, because okay. I just love the Bandolero. I love okay. the entire line, just That's like I, just like I love the Crux. But yeah. the Crux is like, I don't know, for some reason, Crux that line is to me yeah. was like one of the first lines that I just fell in love with. Okay. So it's like my baby. So I, I understand love that. It. I understand that. So I yeah. love the entire Crux line. I will yeah. always be a Crux girl. Yes. I will always smoke that. I will yes. always have one in my in my locker. I will always That's... have one in my case. I will always have a, a yes. Crux. Yes. I, I know that exactly. But the Bandolero is just. I mean, I will buy a Bandolero before I buy a Byron, just because uh, yeah, I yeah. love the Bandolero. Yep. yep. Well, I you get know. it. Well, and yeah. because the Bandolero is such a great cigar at the price. Yeah. Like you're you're under twenty dollars for every shape and size. Yes. Yep. And you get an awesome smoke yeah. every single time. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Well, sir, which you don't one? have to hang out. You can go okay, back and like, read. Hey. You, you, you can go. Back. We just wanted to introduce you. <laughs> And, uh, and we and want to say hi to, to Pops because yes, hi, he yes. is the one that helped you get yes. back. Like, really, really, yes. really show you how to smoke a damn cigar. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny because I started, we started dating. We I actually met her doing the airsoft thing. You know, the whole uh, set, the, the whole part of my life where I was idolizing cigars is yeah. kind of the celebratory thing. Like, we, we knew each other then. And then years and years and years go by, we reconnect uh-huh. and spend some time with her and then finally meet her dad. And we started spending a lot of time together with her dad and her mom, just like the four of us together, getting yes. to know them, them getting to know me. And we started smoking cigars together out on their back patio. Yeah, nice. And then we, I'd want to go smoke more and go hang out with just he, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just future father, at this point, future it's father-in-law and yes, I just yes. go hang out and have a cigar together. And then it got to the point of, well, he's not, he's not available. I'm, I'm not busy, so I've, I've got some cigars, or I can go and get a cigar and smoke right. on my balcony. Yeah. And, you know, so I'd go and get a few cigars, and then just over time, it, it ballooned into. I just, I have found a passion, a passion, a passion. and a, a love, passion. right, for cigars, right? for tobacco, and. For and the, the people culture. behind it, and exactly. For the culture, right? Because you can come from any walk of life, any walk of life, anywhere, and find yourself amongst people that the like minds. love, well, the, that love the aspect of what we're doing here together, right. the cigar. Right. Right. But they love each other. Exactly. Don't you love just being around each the other? The fellowship that you get yes, from doing the fellowship, this, the brotherhood, the, yeah, the, and the, the sisterhood that you the get sisterhood, too, yes. right? And 
And there's like, there's women that go into cigar lounges, and but there's still not enough women that go into cigar lounges. Right. Yes. And the yes. fact that, you know, when you see a woman walk into a cigar lounge that is predominantly men, it's always been a predominantly a man thing, you yes. know, that a woman comes in there and the other guys are in there and they're saying, oh, she smokes too. Okay. That she can share that same thing with her partner mm-hmm. is it's it's just wonderful. Well, and you, you know, don't have to ha- you don't have to share it with your partner, but just share it with your other girlfriends and stuff. Mm-hmm. But but we're the same. We like what you guys like. Mm-hmm. We like the the aspect of being able to come into Scar Lounge and enjoy the fellowship with yes. everybody yes. because well, and that's you really what you're getting lucky. and you're getting and yes. you're getting the conversation. And sometimes you yes. just are going through things in life that you just don't want to sit at home. That you're going to come to a cigar lounge and someone might say the right thing to you that you need that they don't know that you're going through something yes and then they just yes, sit down absolutely. and they start talking to you and they have no clue and they say the right thing to you and it just clicks it's like, another right? beautiful day in paradise right? yes exactly have, have another beautiful ever, day in paradise i might have told you about it have you ever heard about the three place mindset no. you have to have three places in your life to have balance Mm-hmm. To, to, to live a happy, fulfilled life. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. You need yeah. home. You have yeah. to have a safe place where you can go to at the end of right. the night, every exactly. night, where you can exactly. sleep, you can rest your head, you right. let everything go, you're not worried, yeah. you're not scared, right. you can be comfortable. Then you've got work. Mm-hmm. A place that's separate from home where you can be productive, you can have purpose, you can have drive, right. you can feel you can useful. Well, you can pay the bills, but this yeah. is more on a soul right. level right. Than, right. On a, than on a useful in the world level. Right. Just how to keep your soul happy. Right. You've got to have that second place to go and search and, and search out your passions, but right. put effort into the world. Mm-hmm. Feel like you're purposeful, like, like you have purpose, feel useful. Right. But then you need a third place. Mm-hmm. That third place is a place where you can connect with other people that aren't at home oh, or exactly. at work yeah. where you're at all the time. Right. That third place is, is, is community, outside of your family, mm-hmm. outside of your work, right. your your coworkers, your boss, your mm-hmm. peers, outside of all of that. That's what the cigar lounge can be for a lot of people. Yeah. And it not it's and the it getaway. is it's the getaway. It, yes. it is it's the getaway. And also, I think that part of that three part that we were just mm-hmm. that you were just talking mm-hmm. about, you're at home. Mm-hmm. Your at home is your safe haven. It's your peace. So whatever it is going on outside of that, mm-hmm. like whatever you got going on, whether it be work or whatever, whatever, relationships, marriages, whatever it is. Yes. When you got to leave that out there, leave it, leave it, leave it out outside. Mm-hmm. But when you get into your home, that's where you need to feel at peace and not worry yes. about all that stress that you're thinking about. Yes. And you know, you know? And that's, and that's a very important thing that people, and, and I, you know, for a lack of better generalization, a lot of people don't understand is separating those three places mm-hmm. and keeping those things separate. It's, you know, it's very it's important so for people, your soul. Yes. So many people uh, bring their work home, mm-hmm. they bring their fa- their home problems to work, and so on and so forth, to, and they they can't com- car- compartmentalize yes. those environments mm-hmm. and understand that. You know, and, 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 you know, I, not to brag on myself or anything, but I do that very, very well. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things that my boss and my uh, employer enjoys about me is I don't bring home stuff into the office. Right. And if they have to bitch at me about something, I don't take it personally. Right. And they know that if they've got a problem with me, they can come to me and say, Ron, you screwed up or Ron, we need to work on this or whatever. And I don't take it personally, and we'll go out and have a beer later. And we're still mm-hmm. we're still co- co-workers and buddies mm-hmm. at, at work, and I, they don't have to worry about hurting my feelings, you know. Yeah. And you know, uh, and so many times you see relationships fall apart because they're bringing their work stuff home with them, mm-hmm. and the spouses get the brunt of it, and it just yes. doesn't work, you know. Yeah. And you can't do that. You've got to be able to compartmentalize that stuff. And like the lounge, and it may even be a church. You got to have another community that you yes. hook up with. Yes. Right. That, again, you, you may be able to talk about some of this stuff with, but you don't bring it in and make it a burden on anybody else. Right. And you right. know what? Um, actually, like 
If you guys caught um, Tuesday's show here at the shop on the new side when they were broadcasting and Dave, Brandon, and, and Adrian had AJ on the, on the show last night. And they touched on a lot of this last night. And, it, you know, it just, it was like, sometimes people need to hear that. So they really, they really brought a message to whoever needed to hear that. It was a great show last night. And I'm sorry and, I missed it. Yeah, you missed it. I mean, I that yeah, was well, a really good I was working. Yeah. I'll have to go yeah, back I'll and watch it. I'll have to go back and watch that. It was, yeah. an, it was a phenomenal show, and they really touched on this, this kind of environment and just, like, leaving the stress out the door. Whatever you got going on on your personal life and outside and you go to work, let me tell you something. You leave that at the door, and when you come in here, you're safe. This is, this is, your, this, this is where you are safe. And then when you get home, you leave all that stress out at the door. Like you leave it, don't bring it into your house because when you bring all that negative energy into your own personal space, what does that do for you? It just- It's no longer it, a safe it's, place. It's no longer a safe place and it's still negative. And so for someone who is trying to be so positive and stay positive, you don't need any negativity yeah. flowing, through, flowing your way. You yeah. have to feel like you're safe. And if you cannot feel like you're safe in your own home, that's a problem. Yep. Something is going on that you may, you may need to talk to somebody, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And this is this is what the cigar lounge does for people. It brings you together. Yes. It, it the fellowship is just amazing in the cigar lounge. Like I said, you can say something to somebody, and you would never know that they're going through something by this just that one word that you said to them. That just kind of clicked, and it was like, wow. And well, they would know, never and even Dave, know. And 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 I keep and I repeat this over and over. I've probably said it a million times already, but I'm stealing it from Dave. This is the great equalizer. When you come into a cigar lounge to have a cigar, you're equal to, with everybody else. They're they're there for the same reason, and that camaraderie is just so apparent and so needed. You know that it's just phenomenal and. You know, and I'm not going to touch on the the Saturday event that you and I went to. Right. But I've been I, I told somebody about it because I have new shoes and you know and yeah. pants and shit. <laughs> it was a great but, event. You know, they said, "Wow, I wish I could get into on a deal like that." I'm like, cigar lounge. You meet people at cigar lounges, and you benefit all of you from the experiences and the the uh, uh, things and skills and stuff that you offer. Right. In, in that environment. You know? Exactly. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how many people I've, I've helped with computer problems because that's what I do. Yeah. Right. I don't charge them for that. They're friends. You know, and I, I, a long time ago, if you've got a minor computer problem, I'll fix it. And I'm not charging you nothing. I don't charge friends, you know. And if But if I need something, I know I can go to them, and they're more than willing to help me out and, and, and do stuff. Uh one of my favorite stories is during the February freeze a couple of years ago, I was having heating problems. <coughs> and I called up uh, Aaron Klaus with Air Rescue. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually talked to Keisha, his wife, who uh, I didn't call his personal cell phone. I've got that. <laughs> but I called his office because, I mean, this was a, a work thing. And uh, I said, listen, I'm having problems with the heating unit, blah, blah, blah. I said, call me before you come. So he calls me and says, what's it doing? And I told him, he goes, you can fix that. And he tells me how to fix it. Mm -hmm. And so I go up and I fix it. Yeah. And I call him back and I said, it's fixed. You fi Don't worry about me. Go do your other stuff. Because right. I knew he was swamped. With, I mean, he was at, everybody was out power oh, yeah. and all this other right. shit. Oh, yeah. Everyone's so, scrambling. I, you know, but what, what did I do? I came to my locker. I grabbed two or three cigars. And when I walked over to his locker and put those cigars in there, he didn't do anything but give me advice on how to fix it. But I made sure that I showed that I appreciated his help, you know. And you get that kind of uh, That's uh, the kind of love that, that you get here. Hey, Kim. My hair, my hairstylist is uh, on watching. <laughs> oh, hi, Kim. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be calling you soon because i got to make my appointment. <laughs> got to re-up that purple. Yeah, got to be up that purple. That purple needs to get redone. That's right. That's, That's right. So there's one thing that I think that I've started to understand the older that I've gotten. Yeah. Because when I was young, my family was pretty invested in, in the local church. 
so they had that sense of community. Right. And my family, my immediate family, when when I was younger, was relatively big, lots of cousins and, and mm-hmm. uncle, aunt, and everybody. Mm-hmm. So there was, you know, there was a sense of community there. And then, as as I got older, a lot of things in the family started to break apart, mm-hmm. and that community, right. that community that we had there in the family wasn't there anymore. Right. And then I noticed that was a big part of my life that I was missing. So I kept trying to find ways to to fulfill that. To build, to a build new that community. back up because you needed that. That's yes. what that's something that's that you needed. That's one of the things needed. that I love to yeah. see other people get out right. of going to church is getting that solid community that's not just someone they can say hi to well, in right. passing me, every now and again. Now but me, someone they can sit down with after a Sunday service and pour their heart out to if necessary. Right. I can do that same thing here, here. in the lounge. Yep. I can sit down if I'm having a bad day and I just need to talk to you about something completely different. If I want to talk to you about something that neither of us are interested in, but it gets us to a point of I'm in a better place now that we've right. talked, yep. I can find that here. This is a place where you can have, find, and build community and, and I don't, and I don't that get gives too, you I don't want to get as too much religious. input into. Right. I don't want to get too religious, but uh, my ex-wife and I were agnostic. Mm-hmm. And I was agnostic for 20 years. And she got a wild hair and decided she wanted to take the kids to church so they would have other kids to play with right. and, yeah. and interact with. And we went to this church that she had picked out. And we had both been Baptist as kids and just got a bad taste in our mouth. We went to a Methodist church. And when we went in, those people acted like they were glad to see us. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't uh, that fake that fake camaraderie that you get some places, yes. they actually, you know, acted when we showed up the second week, hey, we're so glad to see you guys back. Yeah. And you could feel the sincerity in the yeah. statement, you know, and, you know, and that I get the same thing here. Yeah. You know, when I come in, I've got, I've got to spend the first four or five minutes just walking around shaking hands and saying hi yes. to everybody. Yes, right. every, day. every day. Every day when I come, come in. And if I don't, I feel like I've, I, I, I've, I've not only missed out on something from them, but that I've neglected them as friends, you know? Yes, yes. And, you know, it's just kind of crazy uh, that you can get that in a place like a cigar lounge. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. But it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's, and, you it's know, and, and, so crucial having that community where you can walk in and just yeah. let, let your hair let down go. and, like you said, leave all let of your troubles, troubles behind. behind and sit down and whether you do it in silence you can sit next to someone and be on your phones for two hours sit down smoke a cigar yeah. not say a word and you walk away you feel better you feel absolutely 100 yeah, percent better you feel that's less it. stressed you feel relieved yes, everything it's it's just a, it's just such a wonderful Carson. Fe- feeling hey. to be here Carson, hi how you baby how are you i i don't think no, I have, you no. have not maybe, Car- maybe. just carson Sorry. nice, nice to meet you carson you look good with hair. Come here. Like, Doesn't he? Jealous. Right? You know, he's a little jealous, I jealous of Joseph. Right? I, th- I had to bring him some hair. Yeah. Had she, to bring. She, I had to bring him some hair. Put him on an even level with me since yeah. we're sitting down I had together, to bring him some so. hair. He was so jealous of him. I was like, well, oh, you know I got what? this. That makes oh, us the same height now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Carson, it's good to see you, boo. <laughs> Fight, you, you finally hit 5'8", did you? That's it. <laughs> That's the only way I hit 5'8". <laughs> Even after that, you got a couple to go, my friend. Yep, yep, yep. That's, yep, all, right. Yep. That's all right. Okay, so mm-hmm. let's get back on the cigar. Room. Yes. So what was the first cigar you smoked? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know about the first cigar that I ever smoked because I'm sure it was something that just something that, that something that that came you would nod on. In <laughs> that you went. Something that came <laughs> in, a, in butcher's paper for you know in a twenty count for probably. Twenty-five dollars. Yep. Like okay, that's okay. Probably a seconds bundle, which is fine. Hey, we've all done that. But the first cigar that I can vividly remember, I still remember yes. the band. That's I, the I, I've smoked yeah. it multiple times okay. since then, and I still enjoyed it every single time. Which it surprises people when I say it. It still surprises me. Please don't say Gurkha. <laughs> no, it's not okay. a Gurkha. <laughs> I, there's a couple that I've actually enjoyed, but it's oh, the no, only yeah. line I've only. But that's that's I've a had the gag. ghost. Yeah. I, oh, I know it is. Yeah. Now that I've been in the industry and I've experienced and yeah. dug into Reddit. Yeah, you actually now you know Reddit why. Reddit trashes on Gurkha so right. hard. I've right. had a couple of the ghosts and I've had a couple of the right. seller reserves and they were they were fine. They weren't great. They were fine. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. But it's not but no. more. It's not so much of the stick itself. It's it's the 
people who produce it. Yes. And how Fair they enough. absolutely and, and, and the the treatment that is yes. given to the actual people who are yes. actually I'm probably sitting getting, there. I'm, I'm, I'm probably getting you in trouble for this. Uh, you you, what you I'm don't saying. have to. You don't have but, to. No, no, no. We'll get back to where I was going. Yeah. Um, so go back to where you was going. So the Partagas Black Label. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Partagas oh, yeah. Black that is, Label. That is a great Dark, pick. Dark, oily, toothy, that's a, that's a good, meaty. I mean, they they leather, produce some. Oh, there, the amount of leather that I get out of that cigar oh. makes me want nothing but leather out of the cigar. I just, well, I love that. They do have love a it. lot of sticks because I, I have a couple in mind. Mm-hmm. Humanoid, too. So <laughs> here's the fun fact. That was the first and only Partagas that I had smoked up until a week ago. Ooh. I never, I just didn't care to experience the rest of their but portfolio. You the, but, but you did the 160, found, didn't you? I did the 160. Yeah. Well, I, I, <laughs> Evan gave me a 160, and yes, now I want to reach into the humidor. If they weren't 20 yeah. bucks a piece, I would go buy five right now. Yeah. I would go buy five yeah. and just sit mm-hmm. on them for at least six months. Mm-hmm. Um, and then smoke them all within a week because I have no self-control. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I don't have a handful of 160s. Um, yes, you don't have any but, room for any more. I don't, but you know I don't do know. not have any room. You know what? We've talked about this. <laughs> I'm, yes, we have. I'm a huge yeah. fan. I'm a huge fan of the Oscar uh, Superfly. Oh, the Superfly. The Superfly. Oh, yes, yes. And I bought a so yes, I bought, I've never had that one. Oh, my, my, my father-in-law loves it. He loves the Superfly. I bought a box of Superfly what, really? oh. two weeks ago. Okay. Yes. That box is more than half gone. I was about to say that's darn near gone. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how I got my first Superfly mm. up here. Let's let's hear it. Andrew. Okay. So I had this thing with Andrew mm-hmm. where I would just give him my credit card. Go pick me five sticks. Didn't, it didn't matter what they were. Mm. Go pick me five six. He knew my palate. He mm. knew what I liked. And just go pick me five six. And I did that for over a year. And that's how I developed my palate. Okay, that's smart. Just, just smoking different different things because I like different things. Yeah. I like different six. I'm not so much of a Connecticut girl okay. anymore. Yeah, I've I can moved see that. to the medium body to full body. Okay, yeah. But I Habano, will probably Corojo yeah, and up. Yeah. I will smoke a Connecticut though. Don't get me wrong. The mm-hmm. only thing I will not smoke right now, and probably not for a long, long, long time, is a flavored cigar. Yeah. Only if I feel like oh, I. Oh, you, you, you. I've, I've ventured into the flavored cigars. Yeah. And I, st- I started with well, a flavored cigar. I was about to say, your favorite is yeah. Pat Bottometti over everything. Actually, not at all. <laughs> I've I said, right. I know it's not. Like, I, know it's I, not. I have smoked, I started with a, a flavored cigar because that's what I mm-hmm. thought that I wanted. Mm-hmm. And after smoking that for like a week, yeah. I realized that I was not a flavored kind of chick. I'm a, enough, wait, enough. hold yeah, on. Go ahead. Okay. I'm a flavor kind of girl now. I'm okay. flavored now. Don't get me wrong. But, but, when, becomes, but when it comes to my sticks, I'm not a flavor kind of girl. Fair enough. But you know, so, uh, when, when uh, Chris and I did Cigar Company Spotlight for Drew Estates, one thing that we noticed was they put out a lot of shit. And, and, I, say, and I say that not derogatory, but they put out a lot of different blends and sticks. And I think... They throw stuff together and just throw it against the wall, see what sticks. You know, and the uh, uh, Herrera Estelis, mm-hmm. those are phenomenal. They're great. And, but you know, they also do all of the acid stuff. Yes. Right, and, right. and they are just saying, what can we do with a blend now? Well, let's throw this in there. Okay, do that, and we'll throw it out there and see if it sticks. Yeah. And you know, well, that's, that's, that's kind of the that's kind of the problem though of, of once you get to such a large portfolio that you have to do stuff like that to get something unique enough that people are going to run with. You know because what, you don't you know have, you, yeah. you don't, you have so many people to support, you have such a chain to support that you can't take the time like, but to but put we, together we, a dedicated not, blend. You said it, chain. Yeah. yeah. A yes. chain to support. Yes. But when you go to boutique cigar lounges, you're not getting the same thing you're getting in a chain yes. cigar lounge. Yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But so you're you getting know, yes. a lot of different same stuff. Th- same thing now, with cigar brands. Yes, but exactly. Deal, but their deal is that they're not necessarily trying to improve the brands they've got. Right. They're just throwing something together and seeing if it'll stick. You know, and if they were trying to improve on what they had, I would think differently. Well, I mean, when they put, when they, when they have, like, the acid line, okay? The acid line is just, it's huge. Right? Yeah. And yes. it's like all flavored, right. right? Right. So they're catering to the people 
who like flavored stuff. I get right. it, and you like it, I love it. It's just not for me. But I don't want to like not the fact that they're producing that because there's a lot of people that like acid. Mm-hmm. I even tried acid too. Yes. The acid I tried an acid. The, I, I got about that far in and put yeah. it down. Okay, well, because okay, well, you're not, see, yeah, because that's, your palate did, did not palate like it. Right. Your palate my, my, is my beyond palate that. Because it, it, yes, it's right. sweet. So if your palate is not going to smoke that, yeah. why would you, don't even buy it, right? Right. But if you're like a flavored kind of cigar person and you don't want to go to a Fat Bottom Betty right. or a Sweet Jane, you're going to automatically venture to an acid because the whole shit is sweet. Right. right? Yeah, like I, and I it's tried beyond to want, sweet. It's, it's not beyond, just it's sweet. sweet. It's, it's beyond, flavored. It's you flavored. Get flavors. Right. You're not just getting tobacco. The way I look at it, yeah. and that's that's the that's the reason why when I'm in the humidor and I'm talking with someone yeah. about what to suggest, I, if I can't get a good foothold with their cigar experience, I always go straight to coffee. If they're not a coffee drinker, it's harder. But coffee. How but people you, take their coffee gives you a good idea. Right. But if they yeah. don't drink coffee. Then you start looking. Well, do you drink lattes or do you drink? Well, cocoa? But exactly, 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 exactly. But that's what I'm saying. And if is they, you look if at coffee, drink, if someone dresses their coffee up, if they go to Starbucks and they get a, if they get a frappuccino, frappuccino blah, blah, that blah. has six pumps of vanilla, it's got yeah. three pumps of hazelnut, right. and it's got you know two percent milk. Then it's you know going to be a lot go, sweeter. You know but it's going you to have go to that flavor added right off the bat. Exactly. Right. Or, with that type of person, you go with something that's sweet and flavored. Because they like a sweet coffee yeah. with non-coffee flavors, right. so they want sweet tobacco with non-tobacco flavors. Right. That's, so, so, but there's something for everyone there, right. which is a, a nice thing about such a large portfolio. You're right. They kind of throw stuff, see what sticks. But we also get glorious things like Herrera Esteli. Yep. Yes. And we get good, good things that are cool collaborations like the M81, yeah. but we get great things. We continue to get great things like Liga. The mm, fact that well, we've and continued to know, get well, a relatively consistent Liga well, and means that also, something good well. is happening. Don't forget the Angelique <laughs> from principle. Right? You've got the Angelique yeah. from and, principle. And, and, you know, and, and what I like, I'm, not, and I'm still not a huge fan, that I love all principles, and okay. and on the principal list, the Angelique is at the bottom, but that because I don't like the uh, a sweet cigar, but because they only uh, flavor the tip, that fades, and it you're fades. getting yeah. and you're getting yeah. that brilliant flavor after that sweetness fades. Yeah. And so you don't have to worry. It's you know, and if you've got somebody who's wanting a flavored cigar, and and they're new, hit them with an Angelique. Yeah. And say, you know, let me know how this, because then you've already skipped a stage. Yeah. Right. You know, one of the things that I find, and you can get something another one. Dude. Yes, the Toscano, Toscano is a great, great direction yeah. to point people. It is. And I was actually I, the first time, the first time I had a Toscano, I was in um, West Palm Beach, hanging out with uh, Ali, my fiance that we all met earlier, uh-huh. hanging out with her uncle. And he's got this humidor that he keeps outside because he's basically in Miami. Yeah, I mean, she he doesn't yeah, I mean, care about relative to... humidity because right. it's pinned right right around 70 degrees, yeah. 70% yeah. all the so time there anyway. Yeah, so you're good. But I would keep he mine pulls out this too. Toscano. I had no idea what it was, never seen it before. I was like, what in the world is this thing? This kind of looks like something Clint yeah. Eastwood would have yeah. smoked. Like, I remember that. Right. You know, from all the spaghetti westerns and all the westerns <laughs> right. and whatever. Like, right. all those super tiny cigarillos and... You know, I see that. Something Clint Eastwood would smoke. And I go, okay, this is kind of a joke. And he looks at me and he goes, this isn't a joke. Smoke it. Chris, he handed me the Toscano. So he <laughs> hands me this cigar. Uh, shout out. Wow. Um, <laughs> Chris, Chris, Christy, you guys were awesome. Thanks for having us. So he brings me this Toscano and hands it to me. And it is the wildest experience. I'd never expected something so goofy looking to taste oh, yeah. like a good cigar. And you don't even have to keep it in the humidor. No. That's the that's the beauty that about the that's thing. the beauty behind that cig. You don't even have to keep it in the humidor. It still it's confuses gonna, it's gonna, me and I still would want right? to. I right? would still want but to. You you can smoke it from either end. <laughs> You can cut it in half. I like that you can cut it in half. Yeah, you can cut it in half, half and later. say they're going to have it later, what right? What don't we even have is a barbecue aftertaste to it. And I'm like, yep. dude, I'm eating ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, all right, it's interesting. Think, is he hungry? Yeah. You think about then, food already? Right? Are you no, hungry? Got the, then you've got the decent <laughs> flavored stuff. Yes. It's not yes. sweetened, but it's flavored. Yeah. 
Right. So you've, you've got a bunch of different avenues that well, you know, and the you interesting experience the same thing, so that you right. don't have to choke down something that tastes like tire leather if you don't like, or you know, tire rubber and leather if you right. don't like that. Right. Well, well you know, I, when, I, I when I first think... started drinking scotch, uh, I got a list of inexpensive scotches to uh-huh. try, mm. and one of them was the Black Grouse. The Grouse is a uh, blended scotch, inexpensive, and they have another one called the Black Scotch. Uh, black grouse, and I bought a bottle, mm-hmm. and I like leather, but that was o- leather overload. It, <laughs> okay, it, yeah. it tasted like I had taken a leather jacket, stuck it in my mouth, started sucking on it. Yep. I was like, oh my god, I'm never buying this shit again. That's rough, yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> that's so funny. So b- rough, before yeah. we get too sure. uh, far, well, not far, but because it's we're almost out of time right now, but. I do want to give a big shout out. Happy birthday to Dustin. Today is Dustin's birthday. Yes, it is. Happy birthday. So, happy birthday to Dustin. Yeah. I wish you, I hope that your day was amazing and that you've had a wonderful, and wonderful, wonderful day. And when I see you, I owe you a cigar. Yes, yes. So that's, happy, that's my so happy birthday, birthday Dustin. Dustin. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, Dustin's here. Yes. He's right over there. <laughs> All right, I got a cigar for you. But anyway. So back to the palettes real quick before we end our show. Mm-hmm. I'm not a coffee drinker mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. I drink tea. Tea, okay. Green tea, uh, okay. lemon ginger tea, whatever. Okay. I'm not a Thai, Thai kind of... Floral, kinda... spicy, or... No. Oh, no. So floral... No. Okay. I Greek, do not but... like spice at all. No, so no uh, chai. No, it would never be Thai. So it's always green tea or lemon okay. ginger tea. That's the okay. only thing I would drink. Interesting. And so when I go to Starbucks, and most people, some people don't like Starbucks because they, they say the coffee is too strong, but I don't, I don't even get coffee. Okay. I get tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's called a Monster Ball, and what it is is two bags of tea, and then it's um, uh, some lemon, some lemonade. Okay. And it's, and it's um, they, what do you call that? They just, they don't put in, they heat it up, they heat up the lemonade, and they just throw it in there with some honey. Ooh, voila, I'm good. I make it at home all the time. My thing is tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. Okay. So you would think okay. because if I was a coffee drinker that I, my palate would be different. No. My palate is what it is, but it's not because I drink coffee. It's because right. Right. I like to try different things. And so I, yeah. I've developed my own palate just drinking tea. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's that's why I use it as a Thank jumping much, off Rick. point or a starting point. I never use it as a, you have, because you yeah. like dark yeah. roast black coffee, you right. have to smoke bitter or bold no, or but that, but this. No, but that is a good way to kind of figure out somebody Who's new to the lounge and yes. new to the new to the Damn, humidor? If they're, if they're drinking because, black coffee, because you know that you don't, you don't want to give them yes, a, 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 a light cigar. You want to move closer to the medium. Um, for the most part. For the most part, because I, I would actually argue against that. I would say that. Well, their palate's already developed enough. They're they're used to it, the bitterness. Well, right. And that but I, so pairing though. Oh yeah. With yeah. pairing, I would do contrasting pairing, just as much as I would do complementary pairing. But you know what? Luciano uh, was in here talking mm-hmm. about that, mm-hmm. and he says contrasting is good, mm-hmm. provided the flavors are good at contrasting. Yes. And if they're not, yes. then you do contrasting yeah. and you just ruin right. the whole experience. Yes. That, right. No, it is important. Yep. And yep. Luciano yep. is someone that can experience and, and He's a describe weird his experience yeah, I with love, flavors I love that man, in a way that weird most people dude. can. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. because of his, his uh, disability. Right. I, almost a, a, an it's, ability. I, I was about to say, it's, it's uh, almost a superpower. Exactly. Yeah. It, especially when <laughs> yeah. it comes to tobacco. Exactly. Heightened senses in any form of a way, while it, it's maybe a detriment in the rest of his life, it helps him here very yes. well. Well, he, you can learn a lot from him, too. And that's yes. one of the reasons why he's uh, such a phenomenal kind of, he's a phenomenal yes. kind of man. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But Absolutely. we are just about. So, um, yes. Wow. But, so I, I got just a couple more questions. Sure. Okay. I'm here as long What's as you guys What's your everyday need. smoke right now? Ooh, you had you, to hit me with that. Do you Ooh. even have an everyday smoke? Right now, if I was to choose, there's one that I haven't been able to find anywhere but online. Mm-hmm. And Don't say that loud, man. That'll get you fired, man. Yeah, you know what? I'm Lord of the Lounge. <laughs> I love being here. And I like to smoke a lot of cigars. Mm-hmm. I don't like to smoke just what we have in the humidor. I understand I'm gonna, right? completely. Some You're like my, me. I like to smoke a variety of, of stuff. Only one of my favorite brands do we carry in the humidor. That's Foundation. I've got a couple oh. other favorite brands yeah. that we don't carry, and yep. that's just because I like their stuff. So, so what but, is one you order periodically online? 
my so it's the black crown robusto simple that's it black crown okay. robusto it's a pretty mixed blend i believe uh-huh. they come out of nicaragua i okay. think but it's a nicaraguan hunter and dominican blend uh-huh, okay. it's very medium medium profile i can hand it to anybody and well feel i would like, like to try that it. I'll have to get a box and bring yeah, you guys a couple. I, I, we'll have to, Aside we'll from have that, to, the well, Roma we can, we Craft. We can get a box and I'll, okay, yeah, we'll let's get do that. it. Just, just, you know. Just. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure we're getting the right stuff in. Yes. And then yes. Um, the Roma Craft. The oh, the Roma Craft is good. The Intemperance Ooh. Whiskey Rebellion. Oh, yes. That's Ooh. another great Ooh. medium. I think I, can, I have a few Roma Crafts yes. in my locker right now. Any of the day, I can pick that one up. Yeah. yeah. Roma Craft is really good. Those, now. those would be my go to if I'm grabbing mm-hmm. something any time of the day. That's what I'm grabbing. One of those. What do you smoke? when you want to smoke something on a special occasion? Roma Craft Neanderthal. Every single time. Roma nice. Craft Neanderthal. Okay. All right. I've okay. got two two HSs, which is like a Corona, Lar- yep. Corona yeah. Larga. Yep. Uh-huh. I've got two of those in the humidor I just picked up that are... The Neanderthals are just fucking huge. I mean, well, you can get them in small vitolas. I know, but still, I it's, mean, just the as flavor. As far as body, alone. flavor, strength, yes. they're big. They're, yes. they're huge. Yeah. I had the last one I had was for New Year's, okay. and that's I, I try to have one of those in the humidor hanging at some point so that if I if it is a special occasion or I want to make it a special occasion, right. I pull out a Neanderthal. There you go. Hi Josh, thank you for joining. It's about time you showed up. Yeah, a little Josh. late. His daughter got an award today. Oh, did she really? Yes, she did. Wow, that's yeah, so good. Yeah, she got an award today. She well, did. Josh, so say congrats to congratulations her. to your baby girl. Give her a big hug for us. Absolutely. And I hope you like the hair. I really think this. Hey, I don't know about that. I'm gonna let you use the hair. Is that the deal? I don't hey, need to borrow it. You can only wear can, it when can, I'm not around exactly. because I don't need a doppelganger. Right. So exactly. When I'm not around. When Please, I'm not around. dear God, I'm not that good looking, Josh. Hey, I'm 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 a fair believer of one of Clint Eastwood's classic lines. Okay, what's this? A man's got to know his limitations. There you go. And I understand that I'm not the best looking guy in the world, and I have no hair. <laughs> that you do not have it. Well, Ron, you said you had a couple more questions. You got anything else for me? That's it. That's it? Well, Ron, anything else? That's it, baby. Thank other, you so much. Other than the statement that, despite the fact of everything, I love you, man. Appreciate it. And thank you for I being part of ICC. It's exactly. really a pleasure thank to you walk for in being here, and here on the show thing. tonight. It's, it's, because it's just, I, you're just such a... a a joy to see when yeah. I when I come into the lounge. And you know, awesome. and, so, and she said you. Joseph's yeah, got to be on you. the show. And I was so and and all joking aside, I was so glad to hear that she had already lined you up mm-hmm. because I wanted you on the show. You're a great guy. You got uh, uh, a wealth of knowledge, and you actually been smoking cigars longer than I have. No, I haven't. Yes, well, you have. Yes, you have. I, I have been more. So I've been no, smoking no. cigars with. The level of experience and interest for three smoking. and a half years. Yeah, but you started long before I. Yeah, did. but I, that was so unserious that I just don't count it as cigar smoking. I and, dabbled. And you were yeah. joking about you know the, uh, not knowing what to do with the cigar. Right. I actually started out smoking a pipe, and I did that oh. for about six months. Okay. And then I had my first cigar, and after that I I would uh, I was in a pool league at the time, mm. and they allowed smoking in there. And so I would buy a cigar and go and shoot pool and have a cigar. And I didn't know how to cut one properly, and I cut so many so deep. <laughs> and they unraveled like a motherfucker on me. Yep. And it wasn't until I came here and went, oh, that's what the fuck I'm doing wrong. <laughs> yep, yep. You learn pretty quick when you're around people right. that have the knowledge to share. Right. Yes. Josh says he's uh, his everyday is a foreign affair. I can see that. Yeah. Foreign Affair is a good yeah. smoke. I haven't, I, you know, I can't say that I've had one. So, Josh, we need to sit down and smoke one together. Because yes. I, I don't think I've ever had that one. Matter of fact, I it's, know it's I have never had Luciano it. It's a great I, Luciano stick. Oh, yeah. It's a great Luciano I know I haven't had that. Well, it just came out. I mean, we just got them in the humidor oh, okay. a couple of weeks well, ago. Oh, okay. Well, see, so, yeah. so I'm not missing jumped, out then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, well, that's great. So, so, Josh jumped from one area he was smoking, and now he's doing the four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I get it. I get it. If you haven't had the Ellen Amigo yet, that's another good daily with a little bit of pepper if you can deal with some pepper. Mm. You know, if it's in the be- very beginning, I'm okay with it. So, but if it's throughout the stick, stick, yeah, throughout the okay. stick, I'm just not gonna. So I will say it this way: it dances on and plays with the palate through the whole cigar. 
it's noticeably there the whole time. Okay. But it is not overwhelming at all. Okay. Well, I, I may so try. It's, it's, I, okay, then, yeah. I, then I may try. But that's, that's, one, that's, yeah. that's one to try. Yeah, it's, it's try. And, and if it's overwhelming, you then, you just, then you just yes. know that you just yes. won't smoke that one again. Because so I know that he give has... Give it the like, first third. Yes. If you can't yeah. stand the pepper for, through the first third, okay. then then it, it won't be for you. Yeah, That's I'm not okay. a pepper, spicy kind of girl. George I mean, Rico was in here the other night, yes, so I, I exactly. had to try it while right, he was here right. to honor him coming in and being awesome enough to do a spotlight and do the mm -hmm, podcast. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to smoke I his I was so glad release. that I, I, I live streamed that whole oh, thing. Yes, it was just yes. phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, he's such a great guy. Again, thank you guys yeah. for having me on. It's been awesome being a part of the ICC family and getting to know you guys. Well, they, they, they got it's, a good one when they got to. Well, I hope to remain here as yes. long as ICC remains. Good. Like these, it's well, a wonderful we, we, place. We love you people. as part of the family. Thank you. Um, we thank love you. Josh as part of the family. We love everybody, actually. It, they, there's not one person that they have hired that has not, well. Let me take that back. Okay. We have had a lot of <laughs> oh, people. We have, we have, we have had, had, and we currently but, have a lot of wonderful people. Now, the crew that we, that they currently have now yeah. is absolutely they are wonderful. Phenomenal. Now, let me tell you wonderful. something funny. And I, and I, I texted you about this earlier. I was looking for a picture in all of my pictures, and I take, have taken a lot of photos and I, at ICC and wherever, doing all kinds cool. of shit. And I ran across some old stuff with Jasmine, and I was like, man, I miss her. Jasmine was here yeah. several years ago, worked here, and Jasmine was just She was phenomenal. here when I first started coming here. She's very, okay. She was very knowledgeable in the humidor, too. Was very, yeah. Uh, yeah, she, she was sweet. just That's great. Cool. <laughs> so, Excuse me. Jasmine, I know you're not watching, but I hope this gets back to you. Sweet we soul. miss you here. She's a, Come a visit soul. us. She's got. She's engaged to now. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. oh yeah, so that's she's awesome. engaged to yeah. now. So no, I'm, sure I'm she's... disappointed. I was hoping to date her. <laughs> no, nobody wants you, man. I know, hey, I hey, know. he's got new hair now. He might oh, have more hair now. He's got he new hair, right. Right. hair. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. hey, so yeah. okay, so so hey, if you're out there watching and you have some single friends that Absolutely. might want someone send like him, him send him his way. Send him his way. He has hair now, so. They might want someone with some hair. Now, when you no. when you go to grab it, it might fall off. So don't don't, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> like that anyway. Yeah. Yes. There's yes. a lot that will fall off. Will fall off. I am not one of them. Are we, Are we calling Nick Cannon? Does he get to be on Wild and Out now? Hey, that might be a good one for him. But anyway, you guys, thank you for joining our show mm -hmm. on this wonderful, beautiful Wednesday night with Joseph. And his twin. <laughs> I hope the you guys have now. a great week. So one of us is going to have to shave. Right. Or and, not shave. No. And happy Mother's Day You'll to have your to wives, your sisters, right. your, your mothers, your grandmothers. Yes, <laughs> yes. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Hit up your moms. Give us something nice. And good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.